Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the advanced feature in Katia V5 that is wrap curve. So let's go to the start shape and the generative shape design. So let's keep the part name as it is. And in this, you can see the advanced surfaces option over here. And in that you can see we have already learned the wrap surface command and the bump command. So let's see this wrap curve option. So click on the wrap curve and you can see the inputs required for the wrap curve definition are the surfaces to deform. So we need to select the surface which we want to deform. And here in the curve section, we need to select the reference curve as well as the target curve. So let's close this and we'll create the surface which we want to deform and again we'll create some curve curves. So let's draw on the front plane and here we will make use of the spline command. So create the spline and exit the workbench. Similarly, uh, we'll create one more spline on the side plane make this axis arrangement properly and click on OK. So now I will just make use of this curve. We will project this curve on this sketch plane and make it to normal to the plane. And here again uh, select the spline option and create a spline. So passing through that point. And now we will just Keep, make this as a construction line and exit the workbench. So now you have we have these two curves intersecting at this top point and now use the sweep command and here in the explicit type we need to select the subtype as with reference surface. So here select the profile and select the guide curve and you can see the preview and just click on OK. So now you can see uh, the surface we want to deform is this one. And now we will create one more curve that is a target curve. So select the reference plane and select this plane in the reverse direction. Let's try 100 mm. So outside this surface. And now we will create a target, target curve on this plane. So draw on this plane with a sketch positioning. Just click on OK. And now select the profile option. And create a simple profile. We will create an approximate dimension. So we will apply some rounds over here, just select the corner and just create this corner over here. Again select the corner option, create a corner over here. Similarly we will select the corner, you can try with the exact dimensions. and one more option this one so exit the workbench or you can just i will just make it a little bit down and exit this workbench now select this option that is wrap curve select the surface to deform and in this section we need to select the reference curve and the target curve and click on the preview option and you can see the preview of this wrap curve definition and just click on ok so you can see the output which we are getting with this curvature so you can provide the thickness to this surface so to provide a thickness, go to the mechanical design, go to the part design and here you can simply select the thick option and you can provide the thickness 
and just click on OK. So there is some error over here. So just try changing this thickness. Let's try 0.5 and click OK. So you can see uh, the thickness is applied to this surface and now hide this plane hide this geometry and again you can apply the material to this surface so just go to the apply material or you can just provide a color let's go to the painting and here you just apply this drag this on this on this and just click ok so in this way you can use the wrap curve command in katia v5 so thank you for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do like and subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos thank you